<laughs> Good afternoon. This is Mother Allen, and I'm going to record the prayer from this morning. I think it would be something that you would be benefit from. Okay, so it's me that prayed this morning, and I'm going to tape it now so you can hear it. Okay. In mm -hmm. this warfare, and we are thanking God today. We're talking about healing, health, and healing. And that study, uh, I know it was the Lord because the Lord are always calling us out into the deep, into into uh, deeper things, is uh, heights in Him and depths in Him. And so, we're welcome to the Mirror Live Prayer Call. It is being recorded. My name is Joyce Allen, and we're thanking God for this prayer line. He was uh, given to Javonda. Uh, Allison, uh, the woman of God, the prophet of God. And so <laughs> I know this, this topic this morning, talking about health and healing, is God uh, taking us into deeper waters and deeper understanding. And uh, Pastor Banks, who is uh, always on the present line dealing with issues with people. But this morning I'm going to actually, I thank God because she began to testify some of the things she's experiencing. The Lord began to reveal to me about the warfare, about uh, the health and healing warfare that we're in. And so I'm going to uh, go to Matthew's, the 11th chapter, as I said, it's being recorded. And he begins to re uh, reveal to me the 11th chapter, beginning at the 11th verse. Verily, verily, I say unto you, among them that are born of a woman, there is not risen a greater than John the Baptist, notwithstanding... He is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than him. For the day, from the days of John the Baptist unto now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent take it back by force. And then he says, from all for all the prophets and the law prophesied unto John, and if you will receive it, this is Elijah which was to come. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. And the Lord began to tell, talk to me about the, the Bible that we're in. The health and healing is not just a condition. It's in a warfare. He took me to Matthew's, the 10th chapter, verses 34 to 36. Think not that I come to send peace to the earth. I come not to send peace but a sword but i am not i am come for i am come to set a man at variance against his father against his daughter against her mother against the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law and a man's foes shall be they of his own house when he begins to talk to me about sitting it bringing a sword the Lord began to tell me that this world that we are in, there is such a profit in health and healing. Billions of dollars are generated. The system is running off of the condition of the people. It is being fueled by the conditions of the people. The people become merchandise to this world system. I looked at the statistics of how the health care costs, and it seems like America itself is one of the top nations where health care is soaring, the cost of it. The amount of money that is being spent. And I begin to listen to people who are even encouraged through various uh, systems to remain in that condition. Well, I can't get prayer because my, my SSI be cut off or my money, I'll lose my money. So we, the system, welcome to the Mural Lot Prayer Call, it is being recorded. And today we're talking about the warfare that we're in, when it, the law began to reveal the health care system itself, okay. Thank you. it's a system of this world that is actually using people as merchandise. We all know the power of the blood of Christ 
And that's why Jesus tells us in Matthew that he did not came, come to bring peace, but he came to bring a sword. We know the scripture tells us in Hebrew, the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword, piercing to the body of sunder of soul and spirit and joint and marrow and discern of thoughts and intent. The word of God itself is at battle. The truth, the spirit of truth is in battle against the spirit of a lie. All of the sicknesses and things come under the curse of the law. Go back to Genesis. It goes under the curse of the law. But when Christ came, when Christ came, he became sin for us. And he came to open up the prison doors, to set the captives free. And he said, the same work that he did shall we do even greater works. So the warfare, that's why it says, since the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God is suffering violence. But the violent take it back by force. I was listening to the man of God yesterday when he was talking about Caleb. And God removed the children of Israel out of Egypt. And Caleb's name meant dog. I look up the word violence. And it's talking about being vigorous, being determined, being, 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 going after it. And then begun to remind me of the fervent prayer of the righteous availer. The warfare that we have is to loose. The Lord began to say, is this not the fast that I call, uh, call you to loose the bands of the wicked? To loose them. Because the enemy is not going to turn loose or cause these people to get the healing that they need just he's convincing them convincing us because of the warfare that instead of even in the church i begin to think about when he's told the woman woman you are loose that's what christ used but the scripture tells us clearly how subtle the adversary is even that particular uh, scripture, woman thou art loose, has become merchandise. It has become films, it has become books, but it has not released thousands of souls that is in the same condition. Because it says that, it begins to tell me that they, people will make merchandise and they begin to talk about his servants and Luke, how they will take the enemy will use the servants of God and I believe after reading this lesson even the one about woman that lose the films that are made the money that is made but that is not the purpose of the scriptures to produce money it is to loose the bands of the wicked so the Lord began to talk about he has given us power in James he said he has given us power that the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. And I begin to look, as long as we're in this world, we are going to have warfare. Because from John the Baptist until the kingdom of God is established, there is a violent war going on. And it's the sword of the spirit, which is the truth, over lies. That's why I said many are the afflictions of the righteous, but God delivered us out of them all because we are in continuous warfare. Every time, and I was listening to a, um, um, the, word, the man of God who just passed away, and he was talking about the battlefield of the mind. He was talking about the weapons of our warfare, which is the word of God. He talked about fighting the good fight of faith. Every time we come up under attack, because this system is fueled by this condition, convincing people by SSI, you, why, won't you, why would you want to get prayer? If I get healed, I won't get my check. The, the, the insurance company, the, all the various things is fueled. It says billions of dollars. Thank you, Jesus. Billions of dollars. Even the church now do not have prayer lines for deliverance and salvation. 
is they, the enemy has convinced them that that's the area that you don't need to deal with because the system is being fueled by this condition. The kingdom of this world is being uh, all of this that God has paid and purchased for is now pushed aside. Thank you, Jesus, because of the money that is generating. We look at mental illness it's just like the enemy has got a free uh and said so he come in like a flood thank you jesus but the lord began to say that what we as the body of christ the weapon we have is the spirit is the sword of the spirit which is the word of god to combat that's why it says in james that um uh, if there's any sick among you, let him call for the elders in the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of God. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he has committed sin, they shall be forgiven. So even the prayer of the righteous is forgiven sin. And begin to think about when Jesus was talking in Luke. Luke, when he began to say to the, the man, uh, the para, the one who had uh, palsy, and it says, your sins are forgiven. This is, how can he say that? Because sin is connected, sickness is connected with sin. Not that everybody who is sick is have sinned because we see some for the power of God to be manifested. And we who are in the battle are always under attack. Because he told us in Genesis that the heel, the serpent will bruise the heel of the woman's seed. And as long as we're in these bodies, Paul said, who can deliver me from this body of death? As long as we're in this body, we are under attack. But we have the promise of God that he will deliver us out of them all. So the health and healing is, the, is, is to lay hold to the promises of God, to lay hold to what God has said, not just in our lives to come, but even now. The power of God resting upon us. And we saw Paul, when he was afflicted with the thorn, a, a messenger of Satan, he clearly said, I sought the Lord, and the Lord allowed it to be there for a purpose. But so everyone who has the power of God in them has the power, according to James, to even lay hands and snatching them out the fire, even to forgive sin. That's Christ's work in us. But this system, through the knowledge of or the finances, many people do not even consider or even seek healing. And the church has come most churches have pushed that aside as that is not the ministry, but that is the ministry to open up the prison door, to set the captives free. Thank you, Jesus. You know, to loose the bands of the wicked. That is the whole job. And we, we are going to pray because God has said clearly through James that our prayer availeth. That means you are moving this force of darkness and these lies out, you're moving and you're bringing people out of that because God has empowered us to do that, to anoint and to pray and for deliverance and salvation. But the system has made it so throughout all over, even when COVID came, the people came under fear, which God did not shut up, did not give us a spirit of fear but of power and love and a sound mind. It disturbed the people. And people got more or deeper into, I need to go and get this. Which they now talk about the, 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 the AIDS virus mechanism has produced another thing inside the system that's causing blood clots. This is a work of the enemy through lies and through fear. And the work that Christ already secured for us. 
which is the last scripture the Lord began to give me, that even when you see sin in a nation, it opens the door for the adversary. When he told us in, in, the, um, in Genesis and Deuteronomy that if you obey me, I will put none of these things upon you. But we are living in trying time and sinful time, especially in this nation. And if you look at statistics, America is leading. Yes, we have doctors. But I look and see, my son was talking about, I was looking at a picture. He says from the 1900s, he said, we are living in the most advanced medical uh, time. We are living, but it's still not bringing deliverance. The mental condition is increasing. Schizophrenia, manic depression. Thank you. Uh, the children being diagnosed with uh, uh, AD and people accepting it. This is what they have. This is just demonic invasion. When Christ came to bring us peace, and well, he says that ain't going to bring peace, but through Christ, in Christ. See, we, a lot of times people want the peace and they want all this, but we are actually in war. We're in a spiritual war. And that's why you hear a lot of times people say, when they got the lyrics, he said, according to your faith, you be it done unto you, according to your faith. And so the church job is to build the faith of the people. Thank you, Jesus, to give them the word, to give them the word of God, which is the sword of the spirit, which is the word that it can deal with the strongholds of generational uh, issues, things uh, uh, things that's been passed down through generations, diabetes, alcoholism, uh, pedophilia, uh, 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 all kinds of things that's been passed down through families to loose them. He said, loose the bands of the wicked, the undue heavy burden. He said that to me. And I said, Lord, help us because Isaiah talks about People fasting, he said, but your fast is to, to loose these people because I've already given you the power. But it comes through faith. Even the Lord says, when he was talking, he says he could not do many miracles because of unbelief. That's actually, unbelief is actually a weapon that the enemy is using also to the people not to believe. And therefore, since the church is not pushing faith in God, it's not pushing faith. It's pushing, you need to pay your tithes, you need to give, you need to do this. But building up their faith through the word of God and exalting Christ's work, his doctrine, his teachings. Exalting Christ and letting the world know that you can be healed. That he said that one person said, he said, do you believe that you can be healed? Do you believe your daughter can be healed? Do you believe it? Thank you, Jesus. So the warfare, when it was Javonda, I know the Lord gave it to her, the gift to be. Because what we are fighting is a spiritual war. And this whole entire, this nation for sure, billions of dollars, billions on the people's condition, ravishing the people out of fear and condition when you don't get a lot of people saying, I'm laying hands on anyone. Mother Thompson lay hands, I lay hands, Tanya lay hands, many of you lay hands, but you got prominent preachers, prominent preachers. When you have a demon, they're not going to lay hands, and they ain't going to call it out. They're making merchandise. They're making movies. They're making books. But they're not setting nobody free. So we are praying, Lord, help us. And, and awake, awake the church up to understand what our job. When he sent out those seven, he sent out those disciples before he even came to the Gentile. He sent out those of Israel. He said, Lord, even the demons are subject to us. He said, don't rejoice over that. 
Rejoice that your name is written on high. Because remember, healing is the children's bread. How do they get this bread if they don't get the word? The interests of God's word bring life. It's the word of God that brings life to the soul. I remember when God called me, I put it on my YouTube, because I remember him, them saying he is a healer. And that thing took root, apparently, in my soul. How many healing messages? Bring the sick. We're going to anoint them. We're going to preach oh, for them. We're going to give them the word. God can do this. God can do this. If you believe, thank you, Jesus. So we're praying there has to be an awakening because the devil is not going to let these people go when he's getting $600 trillion on these people's condition. He's not going to let them go. They got, like John, he said, the, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence. From the time of John the Baptist. When John the Baptist came, they knew that heaven was invading earth. Heaven was invading earth. None of these conditions are in heaven. None of these conditions. There's no blind. There's no lame. There's no 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 sickness. There's no death in heaven. That's why he said the kingdom, kingdom of heaven cometh without observation. The kingdom of heaven is within us. Thank you, Jesus. And yes, we are many times are under attack because we're still in these tabernacles. We're still in this earthly tabernacle. But I thank and praise God. He's given us a promise. Whatever the enemy comes in, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standing. He will not, I think Jimmy always tells me, you're going through. We always are told we are going through. We're passing through the valley. Welcome to the Real Life Prayer Call. It is being recorded. This morning we're talking about the warfare and the position of the enemy concerning health and healing. How the nations and all of the systems of this world is becoming rich on people's physical health and condition. When the healing and what was purchased on the cross Christ became a curse for us so that we might have life and have it more abundantly. But it's clearly declared the church is at war with the system of this world, with the lies of this world. That's why he said, don't think that I come to bring peace. I came to bring the sword. The sword is the word of God. It is the truth. It is the truth. It is the truth. God already paid the price. It's already done. But we're not, he didn't save us to take us out because we have to labor and and give the word to the people and pray the effectual prayer. He said, pray much in James, one for another, that you might be healed, that you might be delivered. Pray for each other. Pray for each other because he knows we're in warfare. But he's given us his spirit and his power to tread upon all the power of the enemy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. He said to me, you don't have to beg for healing. It's already yours. But the enemy, like the woman who was loose, they said, how dare you pray for her on the Sabbath? He said, if you had an animal in the ditch, when you go there and take him out on the Sabbath, should not this daughter of Abraham be loosed? Shouldn't she be loosed? Shouldn't she be set free? When he tell you in Isaiah, open up those prison doors, set them free. And that's why the disciples said, Lord, endure us with more power. That when we lay hands on the sick, Paul said, not with enticing words, hallelujah, but with power and demonstration of the spirit of God in us. We thank God for Pastor Banks because thank you, Jesus. She see the situation and we pray that God will give her and anoint her hand, anoint her from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. Thank you, Jesus. That when she lay hands 
or declare and decree. And I thank God. I said, Lord, you even gave us power to speak and declare and decree. I was thinking about Elder Brian Jones when I first came to freedom. I told her I was going to talk about her because God had put in her before she even was ordained as a minister. She's an elder now. She had affirmations. And it's, it's, uh, Charles Stanley says, the battlefield is in the mind. People, words, they begin to say, I'm sick. I have arthritis. And the devil says, say it again. Say it again. Confess it again. Come on. Amen. He begins to tell them, go ahead and confess it again. And somebody says, well, how is your in your sickness. How is your? That's not mine. That's not mine. You you don't claim none of this stuff because what you claim is I'm healed and whole in Jesus' name. This is yours, devil, and I, I'm not accepting anything you give me. Yes, there are sometimes, I know when I first got diagnosed with cancer, the Lord began to told me it was just a farce, but I didn't believe it. Because everybody was like, oh, you have this. You find, here come pity. Here come pity. And here come people, oh, no. We have put off those garments. Thank you, Jesus. Put off that garment. Don't put on that garment. And fight, it says it's a fight of faith. Mm -hmm. It's a faith fight. But some people even... Well, I have this. Do you want it? No, you don't want it. Cast it, cast it off. Cast it off. Cast it off. Thank you, Jesus. And so, until I don't, it seems like the, the, the preachers who are billion dollar preachers, billion dollar preachers, billion dollar preachers. Because when he was talking about loose, loose them, I said, Lord, even your word, the enemy is making merchandise of it. These people are not being loose. They're making movies and books over it. Still fueling the system. How many pastors is laying hands, thank you, Jesus, and says, the any of sick among you come, the elders, we're going to pray for you. Mm. We're going to pray. Come in with these wheelchairs and walkers and come in with this stuff. Thank we got the anointing that's on us. We're going to lay hands and the anointing of God is going to flow. And you will be loosed from it. You don't hear that. You don't hear that. So even the enemy has invaded the ministry of Christ to focus in on mammon. To focus in on manna because they're getting richer. They're building big houses. But clearly, the kingdom of heaven, thank you, Jesus, is suffering. Thank you, Jesus. They're suffering because the people are still suffering when their work is finished. But we are here to, as he told us in Isaiah, to open up those doors. Mental illness, even like I said, with our children. Now the enemy is coming in with all kinds of filth. When Christ already did the work, already paid the price. But we are here to fight the fight of faith. James said, even if they have committed sin, the sin shall be forgiven. Only one sin that cannot be forgiven is blaspheming against the Spirit of God. When are we going to take that position? And I was saying, oh, Lord. You know, a lot of times my, my sister called she said, I came from New York to Hartsville. The doctor could not stop this weeping in her leg. He could not stop it. He said, we don't know what it is. She got on the train, could hardly walk, and got on that train and came. And when I saw her, the Lord said, pray. And I prayed and anointed her. And I said, devil, you a lie. You're going to lose my sister. 
she went back, we prayed, anointed her. The next morning she came, she said, do you know that thing stopped? She said, her doctor went back. He said, what happened to you? She said, my sister prayed. She mm. prayed. And she said, to this day, that thing did not return. I said, but that's the power of God in us to do yeah. that. Thank you, Jesus. And it's mm. not us. It's God working in us. Who can I show myself mighty through? Praise the Lord. We're going to stop it here. Um, but if you want to hear the rest of it, we did pray at the end of that uh, um, prayer call this morning. And so it's a long and lengthy YouTube. But I want to encourage you that we are going to continue to tap into God, to draw from him, and to expect God to use us, especially if you have the power of the Holy Spirit in you. God told us clearly that his presence, the, the presence of the Lord is there to heal because the Holy Spirit is there in us. And so we are to not just accept on this warfare what the enemy is, is giving us, but we are to always meet it with the word of God and with what God says. The man of God says, Sunday, the king got the last say so, and we are serving the king of kings and the Lord of lords. I pray that this has been an encouragement to kind of motivate you, encourage you to believe God for, thank you, Jesus, the things that are coming upon our lives. Christ, the Bible said, we are complete in Christ. There's no lack of one in him. And so I pray that you have been encouraged by this um, YouTube upload and that you'll continue to fight the good fight of faith. And God himself, thank you, Jesus, is working in us both to will and to do of his pleasure. I pray that you'll continue to stay in the word, that the word will get into you, that you will use the sword of the spirit, Hebrew, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. As Jesus said, I came not to bring peace, but I came to bring a sword, that sword that we can use the word of God and be able to have the victory. And we have the victory, first of all, because of our faith in him. I pray that you will continue to follow me and continue to push the like button and continue to encourage us to come along. God is going to show up and show out, and he's looking for vessels that he can show up and show out in. And we want to stand fast. You're going to have to, to say suffer violent. you got to be determined. you got to be the, uh, the, uh, the person that says, I'm not going to just faint. I always think about a bully in the playground. The bully comes and try to tell you, eh, and you don't want to go, eh, and you're going to say, listen, I got the Lord on my side. you got to be like David when it came to, to uh dealing with the with the Goliath. You gotta be like him and says, Today God gonna deliver you in our hands. We got to have the same attitude that David. David was a great warrior and a man of faith. Okay, and that God can use us in this last uh, and evil days. So we thank God that he is turning in this uh the kingdoms of this world is gonna become the kingdom of our God and other souls will be converted to him. He is the one that begun it and he will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Be encouraged as we continue on in this uh this Christian journey. Be blessed. God loves you and I love you too.